here's three Harley JD cam gear chest cases. Um, this is the gear chest that has the drives off the camshaft that drives the uh, oil pump and the um, generator or the magneto. This is for a generator. That's why this extra stud is here and this is the hole where the gen generator goes through. They break quite a bit in here. You can see this one's broken out. What happens is there's a small hairline crack there. That crack migrates into this axle. This axle moves. The gears start to jam and they blow the case and the case winds up looking like this one and they blow the whole back case off. I will actually fix this case. I'll use this and repair it and you'll be as good as new, um, probably better than new. But this is one that I've uh, converted to magneto drive. So you can see for the generator drive, there's an axle here and an extra hole. I weld the axle hole over, machine it out, drill the hole in the middle. You can see where this hole was. I welded this hole over in this case. And then I machine it to work for a magneto. Even when they look like this, old 100-year-old Harley parts, you just don't throw them away. You go ahead and fix them and reuse them. Taking these things from being a relic to a racer. On the back side of the generator case, there's a threaded stud here where the axle for that idler gear runs that drives the generator. And on this one, I've machined it off, welded it over, and uh, hit it with the fly cutter and flattened it out. So you can see that's how that's the difference from the generator case to the magneto case on the backside. And I got a nice flat surface here for the magneto to mate up against so you don't get any air or oil leakage uh, between the magneto and the gear case. Here's three cam gear chests in various stages. This is the JD case before I do anything to it. JD case all welded over, but not yet machined. And then the final machine, JD case machined for magneto drive. JD case for generator, JD case welded over machine, JD case welded machine and drilled for magneto drive. I've got this little template that I made. I've done so many of these now. So I just line it up with the dowels. Drill it with a half inch drill bit, and that's where your magneto shaft is going to come through the housing. Next, I come in with a fly cutter and clear it for the magneto gear. I turned the cam gear chest over here on the milling table, clamped it back down, and I, I welded up the back side. Um, there was a relief here where the generator ran but you want to mill it flat so that the magneto mates firmly up against it so that oil doesn't leak out of the case between the magneto and the cam gear case. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this with a fly cutter. There's the back side with everything machined off of it. And I'll just go in my belt sander and clean these edges up where I had a little bit of overlay on the weld there and she's ready to be blasted and put back on the bike.